I am Anil Kumar and now let us see how to find intersection of planes. The question here is find the intersection of the three objects and interpret the geometric meaning of the system. Take it as a test problem. We are given three different equations of objects and these are you know planes right. Find the intersection of these three planes and then interpret geometrically their meaning. So you can pause the video, answer and then look into my suggestion. Now you can solve these three systems as solving systems of equations. You can also use one of the methods like the Gaussian-Jordan elimination method. So that is a very efficient way of uh, solving such equations. So let us use the method and then solve it. So the idea is first you need to write them in the form of an augmented matrix 7 10 13 so we write their coefficient 7 10 13 8 11 14 8 11 14 9 12 minus 16 9 12 minus 16 and that is how it is slightly different from the matrix so that is equal to values minus 489 that's what you get so that is the same system of equations right now the idea is that we have to make these two terms zero. That is the first step. So how will you make these two terms zero? To make these two terms zero, what you need to do is to make 13 zero, you need to multiply the first equation by 13, right? Take away from seven times the third equation. So that is how you can make it zero. So what you will do here is to make 13 zero, you will do the first row, I mean you could write first row times 13, so that means you should write 13 times R1 right? and then from it take 7 times R3. So if you do that, you will eliminate 13, right? So that is how you can eliminate 13. Now can you tell me how will you eliminate 10 from here? Well, to eliminate 10, you have to multiply the first row by 10. So it is 10 times R1 take away 7 times R2. 7 times R2. So once you do that, then you get all the values which will fill into this matrix and with zeros here. So you can use calculator to do this calculation. So let me just squeeze in the values 7, 8, 9, and minus 4. So that remains same, right? For the first row. Now, what you need to do is, you know, the first, these two will be 0, right? Since we multiplied by 10 times this and 7 times this and then took away. Now, we can find what that value should be. So, we'll do 10 times 8 is 80 and 7 times the 77. So, when you take away, you get 3 as your answer, right? So, it's 80. So, it is 10 times 8 minus 11 times 7. You can do like that. So you get 3 as your answer here. Now same thing you do here. 10 times 9, take away 7 times 12 and you get plus 6 here. Now 10 times will do minus 10 times minus 4 minus 7 times minus 4. So you get minus 12. Now in the last equation do the same calculations. 13 times the first one, so it is 13 times 7, take away 7 times 13, as expected that is 0. Now you'll do 13 times 8, take away 7 times 14, and that is 6. 13 times 9, take away, which is actually minus, well, so we'll write 7 times within bracket minus 16 equals to 229. So we get 229 here, 229. 13 times minus 4, take away 7 times 89. So we get minus 675. Right. So now the second step is we need to make the 6 as 0, right? So at this stage, what should we do? We need to multiply 
R2 by 2 and then take away, right? So we can write this matrix as, we can say here, R3 minus 2 times R2, right? So that will take care of this part. So we'll do that. So first row is same, 7, 8, 9, minus 4, right? We are not changing the second one also. We have 0, 3, 6, minus 12. We could divide this by 2, right? We could divide this by 2. Anyway, we didn't. And in this particular case, rather 3, we could have divided this by 3, yes. And here what we get is R3 minus 2 R2. So R3 is 6. 6 minus 2 times that will give this is 0. Now, let's use the calculator. So we will do 229 take away 2 times 6, right? So take away 2 times 6, that gives us 217, right? And here we will get minus 1, uh, we get minus 675 take away 2 times minus 24, so 2 times within bracket minus 12 that is minus 651 so we have minus 651 here, right so that is how you get these values and now it is easier to calculate you know from this matrix that z 217z is minus 651 so write down your equation you say 217z is equals to minus 651 or z is equals to minus 651 over 217 right so you can divide 651 divided by 217 equals to 3 so you get this value as equals to 3 once you find z you can find x and y so we'll use this equation now which is 3y plus 6 times z equals to minus 12 now I'll substitute z and then take away so we can write this as 3y equals to minus 12 minus 6 times 3, right? So that gives us the value of y as uh, this was minus 3. I forgot the sign. That's why. It, so it is minus 3 here. So what we have here is, so we have minus 12 plus 18. So it is minus 12 plus 18 equals to 6. And we will divide this by 6, so we get y equals to 2, right? So we get y equals to 2. And we can find the value of x now. So we have 7x plus 8 times y plus 9 times z equals to minus 4. So 7x is equals to minus 4 minus 8 times the value of y is 2 minus 9 times z, which is minus 3, right? So you get 7x equals to, so this is minus 4, minus 16, and we have plus 27, 9 times 3. So we get 7 here, so x is equals to 7 divided by 7 or 1. So what you get here is the coordinates for points x, y, and z. So our solution is, that these three planes they intersect at a point and the point coordinates are 1 2 and minus 3 so that is how we could actually find the point of intersection now the question is also there that you need to interpret the geometric meaning of this system so these are three planes so they intersect at a point so it is kind of like this do you see that so these are the three planes intersecting at a point so that is how you can actually sketch them. So if required, you can also sketch them in the form of planes as you normally do. So that is to say you could show this as a plane like this, right? So I'm just showing it a plane like this. Okay, so this is one plane for you, right? And the second plane you could actually draw. So we'll draw in different things so that, you know, it is kind of better for us. So we'll draw the second plane in this way. So you could actually extend the plane further down just to 
say this is the top half and then you, if you draw like this it becomes kind of much simpler so let me show you here so we we could do uh, a plane which will go like this parallel to this will they correct like this so kind of because okay and then okay so we'll go like this this is the second plane and the third plane you could draw uh, like going from here to we'll go through this point right so we'll let us say the third plane is kind of like this which goes through these two planes right so we have a plane which is like this so it goes through this particular point of intersection as as you can see like this right so these are the three planes which will go through the point of intersection so you can see it is like the corner of your wall so you can just uh, replicate that to sketch right so that is how you could actually solve such questions i hope that helps thank you